Today we're going to change the drive valve on a steel TS420 cutoff saw. First of all use a Torx spanner to remove the screw that secures the water connector from the underside of the machine. This will provide better access to the recoil. Next use a 19mm hex socket spanner turning it anti-clockwise to loosen the tension of the belt. Once this is done use a 30mm hex socket spanner to loosen the three nuts that secure the recoil assembly. Then revisit each nut and completely remove them freeing the recoil from the machine. Using the torque spanner remove the screw that secures the nose guard to the arm. Once the nose guard is off, use a 19mm hex socket spanner, turning it anti-clockwise to further loosen the tension of the belt. Completely remove the front of the saw to free the belt. If you are unsure whether to replace the belt, inspect it by eye and with your fingers to check for wear and splits in the belt. Bear in mind that the belt may have stretched and the rubber may have lost its goodness. To fit the replacement belt, locate it over the clutch, making sure that it is sitting in the grooves correctly to prevent damage to the belt. Then feed the belt back through the arm, relocating the arm back into position around the studs. Feed the belt back around the pulley. Slowly turn the pulley will help you easily locate the belt. Make sure the blade turns with a smooth motion. Relocate the casing onto the arm and use a torque spanner to fix this in place. Make sure the screw is secure without over tightening it, as the casing is only plastic. Locate the recoil assembly onto the machine, loosely turn each nut a few times. Then return to tighten each nut with a 13mm spanner again. Be careful not to split the plastic when tightening. Then retension the belt using the 19mm hex socket spanner. Don't forget to fix the water connector back into place under the machine using the torque spanner. That's how you change the drive belt on a steel TS420. All the parts and tools needed for the task are listed in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.